Now, scientific evidence overwhelmingly confirms that the universe exploded into being out of nothing. Mm, no, uh, that's not what science says. Science would say that the universe inflated in a very short time that seems near instantaneously and not out of nothing, at least not the nothing that you're thinking about. The nothing that you're referencing still has an electrical charge, so is still something. But the nothing that you're thinking about is absolutely nothing, which doesn't exist in reality. Space, absent of just every single thing, not even an electrical charge, is only hypothetical and cannot be actualized in reality. The nothing that actually exists still has something in it. So it's not from nothing as you would think of it. It's still from something, but it's still a better explanation than God spouting some magical incantation to create the entire universe out of literally nothing. And at one point in the universe, but according to the atheist, that explosion came from nothing and by chance created everything in perfect order. Perfect order? I kind of feel like this is what he thinks atheists say the Big Bang was. That is not what happens. Uh, like, you saying that atheists claim that the universe exploded into perfect order makes me think of that clip. And if that's what you're thinking, that's not at all what atheists claim, nor scientists. For one thing, the beginning of the universe has literally nothing to do with atheism or not being convinced by God. I feel like apologists have turned it into an argument for God and us using science to refute your logical leap to God existing is not exactly connected to atheism necessarily. It's just using the information that we have on hand to refute your bad arguments. So no, you're completely wrong about what atheists say about the Big Bang. Even Fred Hoyle, who's an atheist and a British mathematician and astronomer, discusses the chances of this happening when saying that the Big Bang happening and evolution occurring in perfect order and the world we know is the same chances of a tornado going through Kansas and creating a Boeing 747. Wow. You know, I'm really tired of this whole tornado through a junkyard creating an airplane thing. It's really tired and it's really old and it, it's just, it, it's kind of just a wow moment that this is still being used. Yes, it is highly improbable that events would have played out the way that they played out. But just because you can provide big numbers or low probabilities does not mean that it can't happen because those low probabilities are not zero. Unless you tell me that the probability of all of this happening is zero, a big old goose egg, then there's still a chance. And given pigeonhole theory, which says given a big enough data set, you will 100% have something happening at least once. And if it can happen once, then it can definitely happen a second time. Just take, for instance, the earth forming the way that it did so that it can support life. Currently, there are about 40 billion planets that could support life in our galaxy alone. Is there a low probability that a planet would support life? Yes, but that low probability, given a big enough data set, will produce a lot of different instances of it happening. Also, he's kind of shitting on the entire idea that all of this just happened by chance. I don't see a negative thing about it just happening by chance, like just by chance, you know, everything played out to where we're here today. Yeah. I don't see how that diminishes our lives. I don't see how that diminishes like the fact that we're here. I, I don't see how this is an argument against anything other than an appeal to emotion because you want to feel important to somebody or something. It just seems like saying that, oh, we're just here by chance. There's no purpose behind us being here. Okay. Yeah. There's no purpose. So what? or even the simplest life form contains information equivalent to 1,000 encyclopedias. Atheists believe this is a non-natural force created this. If atheism is true, then we simply originated by chance. 
Okay, so here's the thing. Earlier, he was talking about the air, the, the tornado through the junkyard, creating the airplane, and now, now he's talking about evolution and how uh, DNA can hold so much information and all this other stuff. It, 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 he paints this as being totally irrational to believe that it came about naturally. But the thing is, is that when comparing the junkyard to evolution and and uh, the DNA and its information to probability that it would be created naturally. What he doesn't understand is that we have natural processes that lead us to those conclusions. Like comparing evolution to a tornado through a junkyard created in an airplane. We don't have any natural processes that would explain an airplane coming together. Like it would be required to come together in the instance of a tornado through a junkyard. We don't have any natural processes that would explain that, but we do have natural processes for evolution. We do have natural processes for how uh, DNA can store as much information as it does. We have natural explanations for these things and therefore do not need a supernatural deity to do it for us. The supernatural deity explanation is not an explanation at all. It's like a placeholder just waiting to be discovered. The only thing is, is that we've already discovered these processes we know these processes it's just that Christians like this guy right here as well as Frank Turek and anybody else that spouts off the same talking points as Frank Turek they don't want to admit that we have the information that guides us to these natural conclusions our world and universe work in perfect sync and our bodies are wonderfully designed in perfect order Perfectly in sync? Are you fucking serious? Our bodies are perfectly designed? Are you fucking shitting me right now? There are kids being born right now that have bone cancer. There, there are kids with genetic diseases that are so horrible that I just, I don't even want to fathom them, right? We got kids that are homeless, that live in poverty. But we got a political party out there that thinks that, thinks that Jews <laughs> destroyed California with a Jew laser from space. That's an example of how Iran rational like our brains can be and are therefore not perfect in any kind of sense. It amazes me how these Christians think that our bodies are perfectly designed. When our bodies fail all the time, we have vestigial parts all uh, all in us, not and not just in us, but in other animals too, like whales with their non-functioning leg bones and shit. Those kinds of things. How How is any of this perfectly designed? As an engineer myself, that's a pretty shitty fucking design. I'm not going to design a modern car with both modern headlights and archaic uh, candle lit lamps on the front end of the car. Like, that's just ridiculous. But that's essentially what God has done for some organisms on this planet. Also, if this planet was perfectly created, why do we have such devastating natural disasters? It kind of seems like like God created a doom planet that's gonna kill us all. Did this happen by chance or was it by an ultimate designer? Oh no, all of this shit definitely screams chance. Like, the natural processes that go into shaping organisms on this planet definitely suggest that there was no guiding hand to it. It definitely all just sort of happened by chance. 